Welcome to our 2014 Concert for Kids here in San Jose at City National Civic. I'm Webster, that's Renee over there, and the excellent David Gray is with us. Hello, David. Hello there. Um, first things first, to, I guess, toast the year's end, if I can give you that. Have you ever had a drink named after you before? I have, yeah. Really? Yeah. It was at the Blue Balls Festival. <laughs> <laughs> And they, they named a cosmopolitan after me, a David Gray cosmopolitan, because we sat up all night until the morning drinking Cosmos. Um, and it's a, a sort of basically it's a double strength as far as I can make out. So, so it's, a, it's a David Gray Cosmo, which is basically extra strong. But, but it was proofed by you. I mean, you were in quality control. That was a good night. <laughs> it, I just, the last thing I remember was Under Pressure by Queen was on the sound system and we were studying the, cl the use of finger clicks at the end which I suggest you do we were right down in the speakers going yeah 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 see how they missed one out there go on Freddy so anyway so that was the other time I had a drink after, named after me uh, it, it's, it's been a good year for you uh, the album very well received a wonderful collection and uh, I know you've been touring hard for the, the second half of the year here um, looking back has it been good? Yeah, of course. It's shot through with moments of glory. I mean, the playing with the band has been a pleasure, and a lot of the shows have been fantastic. It's just just hard work. I mean, and I think that, that's the music business too. You know, the numbers are horrifying, and um, you just try and uh, concentrate on the positives, which is you know the singing of the songs and the doing it. But yeah, it's a lot of turning up. That's what going around the world. I've been on the go since March now. So it's, it's been fairly relentless. I'm, I need a break. I definitely do. Um, are you going to be able to get a break for the holidays at all? Are you going to get to see family for the holidays? Yeah, I got, I got one radio show performance when I get home on the 17th, and then I'm free through Christmas, and then I basically leave to do a show on New Year's Eve um, just after Christmas. So I get about a week and a half off. And then January's looking nice and clear, so that's I've got my eye on that. <laughs> do, uh, how do you spend the holidays? Are, are you? Uh, is there big fun Christmas stuff going on in the David Gray household? Well, because I haven't been home for like basically the last nine months, I'll have to do some serious tidying up. <laughs> Everything's going to be in the wrong place. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that'll be that's item number one. <laughs> then I'll say hello to the family. <laughs> <laughs> then I think pour myself a nice stiff drink. <laughs> Perhaps a David Greyhound. <laughs> yeah. um, it's closing in on Christmas here, and you were part of the P P uh, Peace Collective uh, project, uh, re recording all together now. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. You, um, you were was like sixty performers part of that. Yeah, crazy. God knows what it was like trying to mix that. It must have been horrendous. That's all I was thinking. That's what I wanted to ask you about, because I, I'm assuming this is all done in a, in a very tight time frame. Yeah. Wait, I, I, can everybody explain what you're talking about to yeah, me? <laughs> this is a song that was done because there's the, famously it's the 100th anniversary of World War I. And on this, about this time, 100 years ago, the two sides... At, stopped fighting and got together in no man's land and basically played football and had drinks and spoke to each other but the generals came down on it and it, it never happened again uh, but it, it was about the spirit of camaraderie and goodwill not seeing the enemy as sort of alien monsters but seeing them as people so it's i don't think it's happened very often in the history of warfare but it happened then uh, and, uh, and so the, All Together Now is a song by a Liverpool group called The Farm that was a massive hit while I was living in Liverpool in the early 90s, so it has nostalgic value for me. And, um, and it's been put out again with a, a whole mass of people singing on it as a kind of charity single in the lead up to Christmas and obviously being the 100th anniversary of the First World War, so uh, I think that's what it's all about. And I did my parts and then Holly Johnson came in uh, after me from Frankie Kiss to Holly, which was really funny. <laughs> I had a really nice chat with him. Uh, nice one, Holly. You know, <laughs> that's my era, that 1984. <laughs> so uh, it was anyway. So it was great fun. There was loads of people. Mick Jones was there from the Clash the day I did it. Uh, Gabrielle, uh, the Proclaimers. So yeah, it was it was just fun. I sang the whole song through a few times and did some harmony bits and, and answering vocals and then left them to it. And I just thought, my God, if everybody comes in and, and does that, they're going to have such a f stupendously large music file. It's going to take them about three weeks to decipher it all. 
It's out now though, so yeah. it's getting obviously getting attention. Uh, our concerts for kids benefit Toys for Tots, and so we always kind of wonder, what toy did you have in the back of your head from your your long gone youth that was the favorite thing for you? What was your favorite toy as a kid? Um, I, I, I had a I had a bear, Joey. That was that was that was my f my first like significant toy. Yeah, Joey was basically he he was number one, and. Uh, I don't know what happened to him, but he, I, I, uh, yeah, he had stripes. He had some stripes on his chest. Uh, that's all I really remember. Well, can we toast Joey Bear? Joey Bear. And David Gray. Here at our concert for kids in San Jose at City National Civic. Thanks so much for being here, man. It's great to have you. Happy holidays. Thank you.